you are watching yoyo -Yo tv live if today is your first time watching kindly subscribe to our youtube channel as you watch this show i told you guys that celebrity talk show is all about celebrities we go around talking to celebrities talking to people the moment you're on this show it means you're a celebrity automatically you are a celebrity you know more about your favorite celebrity now guess what today so many questions here are not going to be asked because <laughs> something big is coming to happen here you 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 know more mm -hmm. you really gonna know more about this beautiful lady here today your guest here is fafa okay someone will ask who is fafa fafa is that sexy plus size lady no let me let me let her do the intro by herself okay um madam you are welcome to um celebrity talk show let the people know who is fafa who who, who are you thank you so much for hosting me on the show i'm very grateful uh viewers out there fafa is a lady who comes from the Volta region and I'm normally called Fafa Daute Miranda. Yes, please view. Okay, you are called Fafa Daute Miranda. Yes, please. Okay. So, let's continue. Oh, viewers, uh, I'm very grateful to communicate with you. Uh, Fafa is a lady who has been through a lot in life. She has faced trials. She has been through a lot of pains, headaches. Even though I'm not perfect as a human being, but there are th there, there are there are uh, steps in life. You, you realize that things you really suffered for has to go in vain because of sicknesses, trials. But you know, as we have God, we have everything. Sure, sure, sure. As we have God, we have everything. Yeah. Fafa is trying to express herself for you guys to know her mom to know don't worry you are going to know more about fafa you understand you are going to know more about her but let me do one concern my first thing down right here is a native from the voter region and she is contesting for the assassins in four okay why is she here she will tell you by yourself fafa so why are you here tell, let the people know the reason why you are here, express yourself for them to know more about you. I'm here because I just want to tell people who are hopeless to know that there is hope. Because out of your pains, your trials, you don't have to sit at the point of uh, you falling down. You still need to wake up, wake, wake up, you know, from your slumber and work on things that you think that you have lost. My people, this sounds good, though. This sounds really good. This sound really good. Okay. So uh I heard that you are contesting for Diasa season four. How did it happen? Oh, it just happened because it got to a point I've been sick. My leg got rotten for almost five years. I've been in a wheelchair. What? Your leg got rotten for five good years and you've been in a wheelchair? Yes, I've been in a wheelchair for five good years without walking. My people, this journey wasn't easy. Even some people who have been strong on their two feet, walking here and there, in and out, but they couldn't find it easy. So imagine someone who have been in a wheelchair for over five good years. And today, after five years, the person is able to walk again. My people, it's noisy. Papa, how, how did it happen? Tell, tell us something. It happens that I was having a shop at around Medina. And one early morning, I walked to the shop and I couldn't walk again. I walked to the shop and immediately I entered the shop. My leg began to pain me. I said, what is that? So I called one of my big sisters and she came around to take me to Pentacles Hospital. That's Alpha. So before we got there, as if a hot water has already been poured on my leg. 
and that is how it all started. Wow. Oh, yeah. My people, it's not easy. It's not easy. She just went to a shop, her own shop, and after she realized the, the leg was spinning her, she couldn't control it. My people, this life, this life is never balanced. This life is never balanced. Now, Fafa, my people want to know. Let them know. Fafa, you are Fafa. What do you do? What, what, what's your career? What do you do for a living? Fafa was a very ambitious lady who wanted to make it in life. Fafa had a lot of ideas about business. She has been to school, let's say. And it got to a point, because of my size, a whole lot of people were not ready to offer me a job. So I tried to enter into a business, and along the line, it was working before I fell sick. So, why could a human be saved because of somebody's size? This, this, see, my people, let me talk something. See, this kind of discrimination thing, it must stop. You see, how could you? No, man, don't discriminate people. Men discriminating with Nipa say on the way or some do do. Now Nipa na Fafa ask Fafa sitting down here. If you give Fafa pen and paper, can she write? Can you write? I can write very boldly. You see, so this kind of discrimination things, no, it have to stop. Or some unjai. So Nipa ni determine say obey ye be be ah. Now so Nipa ni ready say obey ye. Mumpa Nipa no no ye be be. Now Fafa no ocean in size ah. If you look at the size, the structure. Now, did you, or you want Fafa to go around selling pure water? No, you guys, you know, sometimes in Ghana, we have to, 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 to be kind enough. Like, we have to be caring. You understand? Okay, Fafa, uh, do you think? I think by the grace of God. You sing? Oh, yes, I sing. Uh, the singing, I wasn't a singer by nature. Uh, what happened is, it said those that trust in the Lord shall renew their strength. Mm -hmm. When I fell sick and in the wheelchair, I've been to so many places thinking I'll get a kill. I've been to places that I wasn't supposed to go for me thinking that that is where the help is coming from. But along the line, I've been to all those places. I lost everything that um, I, I, I had. But we need to go to places you know travel from here to far places thinking we can go help but along the line no i realized that the hope comes from only god and the time i got to know that uh the hope will come from god by then by that time i lost everything but through the hope i have that when i get close to this man i'll get my healing so i begin to pray i begin to go to church you know, I begin to only live on God and know that he's the only person who can heal me. Because I realized that Juju couldn't help me. The places I'm not supposed to go, they couldn't help me. So it got to a point, I was so depressed. I realized that, you know, life wouldn't be okay anymore. I was thinking that all hope is lost. Until I found my God. Until I found my God. So when I found God and I begin to pray... That is where my songs begin to come. Yes. So, um, <clears throat> so what kind of music do you, do, do, do you have any song at all? Oh, yes. I, I have a lot of songs. I've written more than 400 songs on my own. And that is when I begin to pray and the, the getting close to God and the healing begins to come. Is that I had the songs sometimes through dreams, sometimes when I'm there uh, praying, you realize that my tank would just change to a different tank. And by the grace of God, my my uh, my, my, my the best person who helped me out was my mom because she has been my best friend. She stood by me through all the tickets. So when all friends are, are gone, when nobody was there for me, yeah, so. So when um, I begin to pray and when the songs come, my mother realized, ah, you, you begin to speak in a different tongue. So, and the songs begin to come. So my mom was the first person who started recording it on phone for me. Wow, wow, wow. So you, you, you've written 400 good songs. More than, because anytime, uh, you know, talent, you can't build your own talent, but talent comes from God. When he wants to bless you, you know, I've gone to know that the only thing you can depend on is God. 
Because when you depend on God, it's there that He comes in to, you know, transform your life, make you whole in Him. Wow, 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 wow. So, Fafa, if I may ask you right now, among the over 200 songs that you've written so far, sure. did you ever hit the studio to record some of the songs that you've written? Yes, I did. I did. I did, but later it went wrong because of who uh, the per that someone came around to help me produce the songs. But I don't learn the line. The we, we yes, we went to uh, to produce to uh, begin to produce some of the songs. But along the line, the things that came up for me to do for the songs to come out, I couldn't stand. So I need to quit it along the line when the song is almost due to be released. Yes, please. Huh. Can you tell us the reason why you couldn't excuse me one minute? Um because when you go to social media, people like you really trend a lot. Sometimes it's not just only about the uh, negative side, but some trend on the positive side too. So I don't know the reason why people like you should be people should be discriminating you guys here and there. Now from uh, your speech right now, is it because uh, of your size that's why the producers don't want to let you record or uh, don't, doesn't want to uh, allow you to, to, to build your music career? No, 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 no. The, the, it's not about my size. When it got to the music aspect, it's not about my size. Because most the, the person who came around got to know I got talent. Because I can just be here, there, and write my own songs. But it wasn't about the size. But things that they wanted me to do, and with how close I have become with my God, I realized I can't do those things. So they have to go in for the hard decks and things to you know destroy everything that we did. Fafa, if I may ask you, there's like things that they wanted you to do. Did they ask you to go and uh, slap Jesus Christ before you, you record your song with them? Or what, what are some of the things that they've asked you to do that you can't do it? Because you want to be a celebrity, you want to be a star, you want to hit. Like in fact, you want to blow, you want to make money from your talent. From your music, and somebody say, oh, mm, maybe, maybe some this one, maybe the, the producer just ask you that before I go and buy one water for me, pure for me, and come and record, and say you can't do it. Is that the reason why, or what's the main reason why they don't want to give you the song that you wrote, or they don't want to produce you? My own wasn't like that because. I wasn't actually even there, let's say because of the money. But I was there to give hope to the hopeless. I was there to give hope to people who think they can make it, to know that they can make it. I was there to let people who are sick know there is healing in God. I was there to show people that when there is nobody for you, you can still do something. But you know, I go the line just because I'm close to God. The things they want, they said that there is a family for me to join. And I realized now the things they were demanding doesn't go according to the teachings of God. That is why I couldn't go forward with the procedures. Wow, 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 wow. There is a family. Aside your family, aside their family, they have another family that they wanted you to join. Oh, yes. Wow, 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 wow. So from look of things, is what, what, what kind of family is that? Can you tell us the, what kind of family is that family that they wanted you to join before they can produce a song for you that will make you become the father that you want to become? Oh, all they say is called family. It is a front, front, fraternity family. And the things they were demanding, I can't. See, there is a lot going on in this our entertainment industry which you people are never aware of and even outside the entertainment industry there are so many things going on see this beautiful lady has a family the producers have a family but they still wanted her to join another family hey my people you see this life eh? mm? anything you do you have to be very careful because not everybody that you meet is genuine. You understand? So as they ask you to, 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 to join the, the whatever family, what happened? What happened? 
it wasn't an easy thing so because i wasn't in an agreement with them they have to you know take the uh, hard disk and you know destroy it with a with a few things we were trying to come up with oh so they've already recorded a song for you and then since you refuse to join their family they are evilish family they just broke the, the the hard drive and destroyed the song everything that you guys recorded yes please charlie why say ghana some people be too, too wicked like that like how you want to help somebody eh? help the person if you know you can't help the person from your heart but you unless you add the person to evilish those your evilish group or call them staff before you help the person you know not everybody even the person sitting down here look at the person do you think her soul will allow her to join such group people like this eh, they, 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 they are specially created you understand they are specially created so for you to convince people like this to do or to join groups like that is not a two seconds job you get it so fafa now my people would love to know some of the things are these people are they wanting you to do to the same because maybe me, me like this Maybe, maybe I was thinking, so maybe they asked you that, Fafa, if you record one song, you have to go and buy P.O. Takam before you continue. Is it something like that that you say you can't be doing or what? No, you know, it's not about P.O. Takam or something. This is something more deeper than P.O. Takam that you are talking about. You know, someone like me, I wouldn't agree to that because I have been through a lot. After being sick, being in the wheelchair for five good years, you know, it has not been easy. We've been to places that we are not supposed to go. We we we've, we have really traveled because I was thinking I can get healing at those places that we've been to. Imagine your leg, all oh, your leg has been rotten. Worms have been coming out of it, you know. Serious worms have, were coming out from your leg. Yes, my right leg. Hey, my people, I never seen things like that before. Live worms coming out from human beings' leg, like wow. Okay, that, that that was just by the way. So, what next? What happened? Yeah, I got healed by God, and I, so I got to know that everything is about God. Whether you are, you got to live on God. You, your everything has to depend on God, mm -hmm. because without God, you can't make it. Without God, maybe I wouldn't have been alive. I, I don't have the riches. I don't have anything, but I'm grateful for life because people want that. They couldn't get it. And it's not anybody who is sitting into that wheelchair five good years to six years without working. That was so very strong. So mm. I, I'm, I'm a living testimony. Mm. So I wouldn't buy by things I'm supposed to do that I realized that will still take me away from God. Because we were in those days before that we've been in the world. We've, we've done things that we are not supposed to do. But now that we see the light, our things has to be different from the darkness okay now what you said right now touches heart a lot so people ask what are some of the things these people really want you to do to do before they will produce the song or before they will give you the song that they've already produced for you or before you can become the celebrity that you want what are some of the things at least give us like three or even ten at least my people have to know because I mean, if you are telling me story, then Anna, uh, uh, I stopped doing this because they want me to do some things that I don't want to do. What are some of the things that they want you to do? Let us know so that we will be careful. The youth coming out, they will be careful about people that they will confront for help. Even though I'll tell the youth who are desperate that they wanted to you know, come to the media, they have to be very careful because your soul is more important. Because you can I come you can come to me and say that you help me. Then along the line you come that before I belong to the family, they call them family. I, I need to sleep with a man and use a white handkerchief to wipe his name and bring it. We we get to go somewhere to wait, the wait wait wait, 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 My people This is serious right here. The investor, the sure. person who is investing money, who is ready to invest money into her career ask her to go and sleep with a man and use white handkerchief to wipe this person
time of demand and bring it before you help her record her songs and even give her the song that she have already recorded with them and this is this is this is so scary like no so what you just told me happened in ghana here in ghana here i can even testify with the messages about i have about it on my phone oh, so you have messages yes okay we'll, we'll do with the messages later but for now let's 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 knock on some some of the other things that they ask you to do before they they, they will help you out Yes, the axe men that will go out to the bush at around three or four o'clock so that we can have a spiritual bath. And after the bath, then I'll be introduced to the family to make the money, to make the fame. Wow, wow. Charlie, things are happening in this an industry. Things are really happening in this our industry. See, after asking the lady to go and sleep with a man. And use white narrative to wipe the spam and bring it. They also ask her to send her to a bush midnight so that she'll go and do spiritual bath. My people, why can't even Jesus Christ, even 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 God said God didn't baptize anybody midnight 12 o'clock? God, God, I never see in the Bible that God have baptized somebody 12 o'clock midnight. Eh? So these kind of things are happening in Ghana here. Before you help someone, unless you introduce the person to evilish things, evilish family, evilish groups. Wow. So what again? What again? Oh, the same when I become a member of the family, I will, you know, my life will change. Houses will be given to me, cars, and you know, I'll be all over. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be all over the media. I'll make the money I want to make. And a whole lot of things. 